It's time for another fun Gladiola project with our Glads that I got from Gladaway Gardens and my friend Bonnie. And so in this one, we're gonna be using the white and the red together. And this was inspired. Um, if you if you follow Gladaway Gardens on their Instagram or on uh, social media, you can see there's a cylinder base that has red glads around the bottom and then white glads at the top. And Bonnie made that one. So it's shorter red glads, taller white glads. And it's like a two layer effect. And it's a beautiful arrangement. I love it. It's done in a cylinder base like this. But I thought, Kelly and I were talking about it. We thought, wouldn't it be interesting to do alternating colors and see what happens with that if we alternated them and if it looked candy cane like. So I've not done this before, but let's give that a try and see what it looks like, okay? So we're starting off with our tall cylinder base. Um, I have two liters of water in there. So I need my Kreisel Professional 3. There we go, two squirts, perfect. And that's gonna make sure that my glads open all the way to the end. Um, we're gonna work on our turntable and I'm using my Dram cutters, my uh, color point bypass cutter and my compact pruner. Okay, those are always essential and always very helpful. So uh, these are the white glads. So I did share with you in another video that um, the white glads, I didn't tip them as I told you in the prep video. If you wanna watch the prep video, you can go back and watch that. And um, I didn't tip them and they weren't opening as fast as the other flowers as the other glads were. So, um, but they drank almost all their water. So then I went through and I tipped them and refilled their water with Chrysler Professional 3 again, and then they burst into bloom. It was really, really helpful. So I think that tipping thing is a secret. I know some people don't like to do it, but I really like to do it. And I think it aids me in getting them open faster. You've asked great questions too about the glads, about how long does it take? Um, and I think it takes a day or two, maybe three to open them up, okay? And so you wanna get your glads in ahead of time so that they open up. They don't ship them open because it would bruise them all. They're such heavy stems, they have to ship them tight with hardly any color showing. So then you put them in your Chrysler Professional 3, which feeds them, keeps the foliage green, makes the blooms bigger, better colors. You know, it's all wonderful and you have to open them up. So very important for us to do that. So we're going to use our white and our red together in this. And so I'm going to grab one of these white glads. Okay. And just look at that. Look at how awesome that looks. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to have it hit right about there. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be measuring my glad so that I'm cutting it the right length and then sticking it down in the vase so that it sits right there. Now, see, that's a little bit long. So I'm gonna cut that and I'm gonna peel off that piece of foliage too. Okay, oh see, perfect, perfect. So now I need a glad that's gonna stand up to that one. Okay, and so what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna pop off that little bloom at the bottom and I'm gonna have another glad, same length, right? I'm gonna peel off that foliage. He's still a little bit tall. There we go, next to that one, right? Okay, you're getting the idea, right? So now let's go back to another white one, okay? And we're gonna go cut that. See, you're gonna notice that I'm gonna cut them twice every time because I don't wanna cut them too, too short because if I do that, that'll be bad. Ha ha, there we go. So now another red one. I know my friend Bonnie's gonna watch this and she's gonna be like, you know, oh, I love that you did, because she is, honestly, if you've ever met Bonnie, if you've ever had the opportunity to meet her, one of the sweetest, kindest people I have ever met in my entire life. And she's just, she's just adorable and just so much fun. So see now, I wanna make sure that these guys are hanging out and playing well together too, as I'm making this. So I'm gonna keep adjusting them as we work along. I love that the weight of this is making it turn around on my turntable. That's pretty fun. Now look at that one. That one's gonna be really good. And 
yet. There we go. And you know what? I think I'm going to pop this guy off. And you know what? It's really fun because um, we're going to show you some more projects with the Glads. And one of them that we're going to do is the Glamelia. And we're going to create a composite flower out of the Glad uh, blossoms. And so we take these and what we're going to do is we're going to take these blooms and we're going to break them apart and use them in pieces to create a blossom that's like this big. It's going to be a great project. So make sure you check that one out too. So, okay. So now we're going to come along here with the next one. Looks like about there maybe. Oh, that looks like I'm going to be pretty darn close. Okay, now, next one. So um, we have, um, there's there's Glad Growers in Michigan. Um, one of the coolest things about, about Glad Away gar Gardens is that it's in Central Coast, Michigan. So they are able to produce Glads almost year round for us. And that is what makes them so fun and so interesting. I want to go there sometimes so I can be there with Bonnie but also so that we can show you how they grow glads because it's the planting of the bulbs and forcing of the bulbs. Uh, Bonnie showed me a picture one time and it's on their website because um, typically they harvest the glads, you know, before there's any color, but there are specific times every once in a while where they let the glads bloom in the fields. And so then you're on that central coast of California and there's just these rows and rows of, you know, glads in all rainbow colors. It's amazing. It's amazing. And so when you see that picture, you know, that's something that you typically wouldn't see all the time. And so it's something that happens at only at specific times. And that's pretty cool. So, um, all right. So. We've got that. So I love that. So um, as I said, uh, so before I said, um, we have glad we have glad growers here in Michigan and the people in Michigan, um, we have a very short season. So we don't get a lot of glads. We don't get the the, the depth, um, the, the big blooms like this and everything, because we have a much shorter season in California. They have the perfect climate. It's one of the seven Mediterranean climates on the planet. And it's the perfect place for them to grow these beautiful glads at Gladaway Gardens in the center coast. So, yeah, perfect, perfect spot for them. Okay. And then it looks like we're going to have one more here. Okay. Measuring up to make it just right. So now it's kind of candy caned around the outside, right? And so now I'm gonna put some more in the middle. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna tip a couple of these just a little bit more too, so that they're a little more even, okay? I don't want some to be taller and some to be shorter, okay? All right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in the middle in between these and I'm gonna try and contrast them. So I'm, I'm thinking about a candy cane as we as we go along with this okay so let's see how that works for me all right so here's a good one here and i'm gonna want it to sit about there so let's see how that's gonna go if i go right about here and so what what i'm doing so you can see this glad starts to meld with that glad got it so now my next, my white glad is going to meld with the next glad. Okay. See how that started to go there? Okay. So now I'm going to need another red one in there. Red glad. Then white clad. Okay. 
And I think sometimes people, um, you know, I think it's interesting because I've, I've told this to Bonnie before many times when we've been at shows together. GLADs were always that classic flower that you saw in Architectural Digest. There would be a big vase of GLADs in the middle of some gorgeous, you know, home that was some movie star's home or something. And I think that's the cool part about them is that they have classic elegance that goes with them. And it's just so cool to be able to have those flowers. And you know what? The other thing I love about it is that when you arrange glads, you're always going to be have success. You're just going to always have success. It's really simple. It's really easy. That guy's a little bit too tall because the flowers do a lot of the work for us. And I think that that's so cool. <gasps> Look there. See how that's starting to happen? I love that. And I'm not going to be able to spin this because I've got all my stems here. There. Look at how that's starting to come together. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Okay, so we're going to come over here. We need a white one to go in there. Right, it's going to be right about there. A red one. So if you can imagine the second layer that I'm putting in right now, in Bonnie's arrangement, she did the red all the way around the bottom. And then she did the white in the top. Okay. And so I could have done it that way, but I thought, well, you can go to her. You can follow them because you should follow them. That would be so great to follow Gladaway Gardens on social media. And then look at some of the beautiful designs that they have that are made with glads. And then we're doing something different here. So we've got a different idea that we can utilize here. And as I said, you know, many times I show you arrangements that I've tried before. Okay. This one I have not tried before. So we're going to see how it goes. There we go. Another white clad about that length. And again, remember, always cut longer than you think you're going to need because you can always make it shorter. You cannot always make it longer. That's hard to do. Okay. And I think I need one more red in here. Now, see, I love how those red are going together there. I think I need one more white one in. So now I'm just kind of filling in a little bit and I'm looking for some, I'm looking for space. And I just think I need a white one right there to fill in there a little bit. And I think I'm gonna need one more. Eh, I think I need a white one there. And I think I'm going to need one more red one right there. So now I've almost, look at that. It's really pretty, isn't it? Because the glads start to divide the colors up. And I think it looks wonderful. I like this guy. There is one right here that's just kind of running amok on his own. There, that's better now. Look at that. Isn't that fun? And as this, as these open up, all, the, all of them are going to open up along the top. Let's clean up this so that we can give it a nice spin and look at it. Look 
look at that. Isn't that fun? I just love the way that they go together. This one's really, this is wide right here. And I want this to be a little bit wider than two. A little bit more color in there. And I just did that by arranging those. I just pulled on them a little bit and gave them a little tug and a little squeeze. This glad right here needs a little tug and squeeze this way. This red one needs a little tug that way. So see, that's the key, going back in there and grabbing them a little bit and messing with them. You know, I talked, I told you about when you have a container sometimes and you lift them at the very end, this is just twisting them around inside there. But isn't that pretty? Ah, uh, glad's from glad away. Just makes me happy, right? And just a fun way for us to use two different colors of glads together. Now, the question you all are going to ask me is how many glads did I use in there? So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. So uh, one bunch of white, one bunch of red. There we go. Okay. So look at that. Very pretty. All right. So a fun way to arrange glads in a cylinder that's a little bit unexpected. Or you could use all one color and you just have a glorious display too. So whatever it is you want to do, remember you're the one who gets to be creative. So if you love these videos, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and make sure you ring the bell. If you ring the bell up at the top of the screen, that's going to mean that you're going to get notified every single time we do one of these videos so that you won't miss one. Okay. And if not, you can binge watch. Um, remember too, when we premiere these videos that I chat along with you so that I can answer questions and just say hello. So it's a fun way for us to get together when we're home alone right now. So, all right, take care and keep having fun with flowers.